Mike Schmitz here with Mike Dom at Adidas Nations in Houston. Um, what has this experience been like for you so far, playing with a lot of you know high-level players that you know I imagine coming up, um, it, you know, when you were recruited and on the AU circuit, uh, you maybe haven't played with a lot of guys at this level. Yeah, no, it's a great opportunity. Obviously, very blessed to be here. But you know, going against some of the top guys in the nation, top guys in the world, is honestly a great experience for me. You know, it's it's good for me to be able to come out here and uh, just go against this high-level competition and carry it over into the basketball season. What are you hoping to show scouts that maybe you weren't able to show a ton of at the NCAA level? Uh, what I want to show more is my versatility um, and more my athleticism. You know, I feel like people kind of sleep on it. But that's definitely one thing. Defense I need to get better at, but I want to show them that I can still move my feet and cover smaller guys, so that's one big thing I want to work on. And what are the biggest uh, things that you think you do that translate to the next level? Um, I would say just being a smart, high, high IQ basketball player, being able to shoot the ball at a high level from a deep range, and then just having a, just being a guy who can make plays for other dudes. You know, obviously I'm bigger, and with people uh, guarding me different ways, I want to be able to create for other guys too and help kick out and get assists. What can you tell us about your background? Uh, you know, where you're from, um, how long you've been playing, kind of your recruitment, what that was like. Yeah, you know, I'm from a small, small town in western Nebraska. Uh, my family has a huge farm out there. Uh, my mom had a basketball in my hand since I was like three years old. So growing up, she was always the basketball mind behind everything. You know, she taught me how to shoot and dribble. And then recruiting, uh, I played for a team out of Fort Collins, Colorado. You know, played in a couple big tournaments, Indianapolis and uh, Las Vegas, and was able to get seen by a couple D1s and uh, decided to commit on South Dakota State. So, How many people were in the, uh, you know, live in the town you grew up in? Uh, about 2,000 people, and my graduating class was about 20, so it was a super small, super small town. What was it like growing up on the farm? Uh, our, t our farm was actually outside of town. I lived in town, but it was great. You know, obviously bonding with my family made me close. It definitely taught me a good work, work ethic. Um, my family raised me right for sure, and uh, it taught me that hard work pays off and uh, just rel rely on your morals. And how would you characterize your career so far at South Dakota State? Have I obviously had some very productive seasons. Oh, uh, it's definitely been crazy. You know, I, I definitely would characterize it as very good. But I go, I got to give shout outs to like the coaches and players and everyone I've been around. They're the one who have pushed me and excelled me to uh, to get to where I am today. And what about you know you guys played in the NCAA tournament? Um, what was that experience like for you? You know, it is. It's a great experience, and it's something that you know not everyone gets to do. So it's something that we definitely want to get back and do. But now we're to that point where we're not just settling for making the tournament. We want to start winning games in it. And what are the biggest areas you know, you're still trying to improve on as a player? Uh, definitely my foot speed, uh, shot release, time, things like that, and then defense is, is all. And then uh, definitely just improving my body, my overall look, and uh, my stamina. Do you know your height, weight, and wingspan? 6'9", uh, weight is 250, wingspan is 7'3 Anyone you like to watch, kind of, you know, model your game after? Oh, I love watching, like, Dirk Nowitzki. He's, he's one guy, I just admire how good he can shoot it, his release point, how high it is, and his, his ability to, you know, be a bigger guy, slow, still handle the ball, but create space on a shot. And then I admire KD a lot, too, just to be able to handle the ball at his height. Did you consider, you know, going through the pre-draft process and all that? Um, I mean, I, it was kind of in the back of my mind, but it was one thing where I knew I knew that I had to get better, and I knew it would have been good feedback. But still, the coaches I have and everyone was preparing me and getting me ready for this upcoming season. So it's definitely a possibility coming up. So what are, what is this next year going to look like for you? Is there anything new we're going to see from you that maybe we haven't seen in the past? And what are your plans and goals? Ah, uh, you know. Probably new is going to be me more on the perimeter with uh, open space and just being able to handle the ball more. So a lot of people never really saw that last year. Uh, you know, my goal has always been to get to the NBA, the highest level. You know, that's that's been my dream since I was a little kid. But, you know, my, my overall goal is just every day getting better and just helping the guys around me get better too so we can have successful seasons. Great. Well, thanks so much. Good luck to you. Thank you.